Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners, the difference between entering bills and expenses. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and this is a question I get very, very frequently. Okay, so there's two ways basically to enter, um, you know, the costs of doing business in QuickBooks. And I always tell people, look, if you know, you're keeping your books correctly, you're going to follow the process of entering bills and then paying those bills. But there's also times that you just need to enter these expenses, you know, when it, it could be that you go and use your debit card somewhere, uh, maybe it's a, it could be a credit card charge, whatever it is, you're gonna not follow the process of entering a bill and then paying that bill. Okay, so if you look here, you know, you got a flow chart here on the home screen, you've got the enter bills and then pay bills. All right. So general rule of thumb is if you get a bill for your business, and this could be, you know, you get it in the mail, you get it through email, somebody just hands it to you, whatever the case may be, and you have to pay that later. Okay, so it's not something that you're paying immediately, you're not paying it right now. This is going to be entered as a bill. Okay, now it's very important too. even if you get that bill and then you pay it immediately, you still want to enter that bill into QuickBooks and then show it as a paid bill right here later. Okay, or at the same time, if you're paying it immediately. And the reason that's important is because when you enter the bills, you're entering the date that that bill uh, has on on there as the data service or you know whatever the case may be and that's important because you're putting that bill or that expense into the correct time period okay so let's walk through this a little bit now general rule of thumb you get a bill whether it's email in the mail whatever the case may be you're going to go up to vendors and you're going to go down to enter bills or you can simply just pick this right here so let's choose this we say enter a bill now you're going to put in the vendor. So let's say this is uh, CU Electric. And, and let's say you get this bill and the date is 1215. So you get this, you know, through email, online, in the mail, and the date, today's date is 1215. But you look at the bill and it says this is for service through the end of November. Okay. And the date of the bill is November 30th. You're going to change this date to November 30th. And then you're going to put in the amount. So let's say it's, uh, you know, uh, let's say 152.23. Okay. And then the due date, you're going to put in the due date. Now, here's why this is important is because that will now put that expense on an accrual basis in your November financial statements. If you leave that at 1215, it's going to put it in as of December in the December financial statements. So it's very, very important from an accrual basis standpoint that that is put in as 1130. All right, then you're going to save this and then you're going to go to pay bills and you're going to pay this bill. Okay, now let's take the other example of let's say you just go to, uh, you know, Staples or Office Depot or one of these places or, you know, Costco, it doesn't matter. And you're just buying something and you use your debit card. Well, in that case, you're not getting a bill because you are spending that money immediately. That's when you're just going to put in an expense. All right. Now, the easiest way to put in an expense that is to go directly to the check register right here. Now, you can also go to write checks. Okay. Now, you, either way is going to give you the same result. The check register is a little bit confusing for people. And so sometimes it's easier just to go to write checks. So let's say we just, we go over to write checks. And yes, I understand you're not writing a physical check, but this is a way to get an expense into QuickBooks. Okay. So let's say we go to Costco. All right. Now they're not in there. So we're going to do a quick ad. We're going to say, okay. For the check number, if this is a debit card transaction, you can put EFT, you can put debit, you're going to put something to signify that this was a debit card transaction or, you know, it was not a check. So you do not want to leave a check number in there. All right. So let's say that the date of this uh, was 1215. So we're going to leave that and we're going to say $12 and 35 cents. And then we're going to specify the account. We'll say office supplies, 1235. And then you're going to hit save and close. Okay. 
So now you have entered that expense. So remember the important thing in the difference between entering bills and expenses is a bill is something that you receive that you're going to pay later and it's for a certain time period. So you're going to make sure that you put the correct time period in the bill entry into QuickBooks. And an expense is something that you spend immediately. You're not getting a bill to pay later. All right. So very, very important to remember that difference and to record these correctly in QuickBooks. Any comments, any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave those below the video. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. Got a whole lot more over there for you to check out. The website is qbuniversity.org.